Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the, our Chief Executive Officer, Ms. Vanetta Simons, I would like to welcome the Honorable Minister, Jean Atherton, Minister of Health, Seniors and Environment, Dr. Ateo Fukunli, Consultant Hematologist, Mr. Adrian Warner, Treasurer of the Bermuda Sickle Cell Association, and the dedicated staff of the Bermuda Hospitals Board Pathology Department. I am pleased to welcome everyone to this formal service launch of the Spectra Optia Therapeutic Apraces Machine. The Bermuda Hospitals Board statutory legislation obligates the hospital to reinvest any surplus revenue generated from operations into improving the healthcare services for the Bermuda public. Today's launch represents a two-fold accomplishment as the hospital is introducing a clinical medical service for a segment of our population that suffers from a chronic ailment and repatriating services using technology that previously was only available overseas. As a result, access to care for patients is improved, increasing their quality of life, costs to the hospital system reduced, to the health system being reduced by making the service available on island, and the new services will contribute to the sustainability of the overall health care system for the betterment of all residents. I would like our consultant hematologist, Dr. Fukunli, who spearheaded this project, for the clinical team to describe the machine and the treatment programs we can now deliver locally. Dr. Fukunli. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Eitayo Fukunli. Consultant hematologist um, for the hospital, all protocols of that. This project wouldn't have been successful without the assistance of my boss, Dr. Clyde Wilson, Dr. Keith Cunningham, um, Dr. Wilbert Warner, and of course the involved nursing staff and laboratory staff. The equipment that we're, going, that we're launching today is very efficient in extracting red cells from patients in red cell exchange, plasma, as in therapeutic plasma exchange, platelets, white cells, stem cells, whenever that is required therapeutically. The equipment is simple. What it does, it, it extracts, or it, blood is taken out from the patient, and right in the machine, the um, component that we need to extract is taken out and directed into an e-frame bag in the machine. The component that will replace what we've taken out is mixed with the remaining blood, and that is infused by the machine back into the patient. It's a wonderful equipment, and we're very grateful to Civil Cell Association and the Buddha Hospital Board for making it possible for the patients of the island. Thank you. <coughs> Good day. My name is Adrian Warner. I am treasurer of the Bermuda Sickle Cell Association and have the condition myself. Today I'm here to publicly pledge the association's commitment to donate $25,000 to the cost of the machine that will be a lifeline to many of us who suffer from the sickle cell anemia. The apheresis machine essentially extracts and replaces the red cells. The equipment is required for red cell exchange in patients with sickle cell disease who develop specific complications, including stroke. The Bermuda Hospitals Board has purchased the apheresis machine, and I have had the benefit of treatment with it. Before this machine was here, my red cell exchange were no done manually. It used to take four to six hours for a partial treatment. With the new machine, a full red blood cell exchange is finished in only 90 minutes. Because the machine is proce processing a larger volume of blood, I need less treatment. I used to come in once a month, but now I only need to be here every six to eight weeks. I am elated that the machine is here. The Sickle Cell Association is pleased to present the Bermuda Hospitals Board with a $15,000 dona $15, donation today, but we are committed to our pledge of $25,000 and are still fundraising for the additional ten. As a part of Sickle Cell Awareness Month this month, 
In addition to the $15,000 check, we are also presenting the Bermuda Hospitals Board with 10 information packets on sickle cell disease for Gosling Ward to be dispersed to families of children with sickle cell disease. I thank the Bermuda Hospitals Board for this investment and the Minister for her presence. It is the Association's sincerest hope that with our generous donation and with the Minister's presence here today, that the government will start to hear some of our pleas for relief. Thank you all. Good afternoon. As Minister of Health, Seniors and Environment, I'm pleased to see that the Bermuda Hospital Board continues to provide improvements to its services to our community. Keeping abreast of the latest technology is necessary if we're serious about improving the health and well-being of Bermudians and all who live here. A healthier community also means lower health costs, a tall order, but one we must strive to achieve. Investments like this new apheresis machine will move us in the right direction. I'm also pleased to see the collaboration that brought this machine to the island. Although it's a small organization, the Bermuda Sickle Cell Association, recognizing that they would, be, they would benefit most from the apheresis machine, is working hard to offset the cost of the hospital. And I did hear you about us hearing about your association and the benefits to the persons who suffer from sickle cell anemia. I must admit and remind myself that uh, more than a year ago, I actually did talk to Dr. Warner about the sickle cell anemia association and about those persons that were suffering from it, and we continue to have the conversation. Mr. Adrian Warner, treasurer of the association, said that the association is committed to donating 25000 and we just witnessed the first installment, a donation of 15000 and understand that fundraising for the remaining 10000 continues. I applaud your efforts and those of your committee, Mr. Warner. I also applaud the Bermuda Hospitals Board for its dedication to improving the safe, high-quality care to the entire community. As Minister of Health, Seniors, and the Environment, I remember that tomorrow marks exactly one year ago that I witnessed and officiated at the opening of the acute care wing. Please continue, Bermuda Hospitals Board, the good work of improving health care for all of us on the island. And to all of you who are here, I want to say to you that the more community gets involved in what's happening, the more that we can do to support individuals and associations, whether it be through contributions or working in the background, the better result we will have and the healthier patients and also the cost of health in Bermuda will reduce. Thank you very much. So, <clears throat> Mr. Warner, on behalf of the Bermuda Hospitals Board and the Pathology Department, I would like to thank, thank you sincerely uh, for the donation that the Bermuda Sickle Cell Association has uh, made to the organization and look forward to the equipment going on to service many people in our community. Mr. Pierman, on behalf of the Bermuda, uh, Bermuda Sickle Cell Association, we'd like to present you with this check for $15,000 as our first installment. Great. Thank you very much. Dr. Fonconi, thank you for the support of the pathology department. 